Hey everybody, welcome back to Tenza Motorsports. Now, I don't normally do just general maintenance stuff, but this car is a little bit different than some of my other projects. This is a 2014 BMW X3. It has the three liter turbocharged engine in it. This is the straight six. So we're gonna be doing some spark plugs today. Now we're hoping this fixes the issue. A lot of these cars have transmission faults that come up and it puts it into limp mode. It throws all these lights all over the dash and can really freak you out. The reason for that is we're getting a misfire. We're pretty sure that's the issue. We're hoping it's just the spark plugs, but it could be the spark plugs and or the coil packs. So whatever it is that's causing a misfire, what it does is the engine starts to shake, then it starts sending weird power to the transmission, and the transmission throws a code saying, hey, something's wrong. Uh, you need to stop, basically stop driving normal. Uh, it puts it in limp mode. And so this car was limped back home the other day. And we have here some spark plugs. We ordered these through ECS Tuning. The link to everything we use today will be in the description below, including the special socket that we're going to need to do this. BMWs really don't use a lot of special tools. I work a lot with some of the older ones, the E46 style, and most of the tools are really quite simple or just standard tools. There's very few that you need to have specific to the car. This is one that you do need to have specific to the car. It's not very expensive. Once you buy it, you don't have to buy it again. So we'll go through everything. I opened up the box just to make sure everything was in there. This is a bit of a time sensitive car to get up and running because it is a daily driver. And so we need to get it back on the road. And I had to check to make sure everything was in there when we got the package. This came uh, yesterday in the mail. Now, what I was going to do was show everybody the code that we were getting on the dash but I cleared it the other day because I used my blue driver and went through it to make sure that that's actually what's going on. And we were getting misfire code. So again, we're hoping that it's the spark plugs and or the coil packs. Now the coil packs are gonna be a little bit more expensive than just replacing some OEM spark plugs. And we just did OEM ones. We didn't do anything super fancy. If this was one that we had modified, uh, producing a lot more horsepower or, or looking to do something like that. We'd probably put something a little bit nicer spark plug in there, but we're really just kind of doing an OEM replacement spark plug so we can get this thing back to running stock and back on the road. So with those engine codes cleared, I can't show everybody what it looks like, but I'm gonna throw some uh, either video or pictures up here of what this code looks like when it's on the dash. I was thinking about taking this out and getting the code to come back, but it is wet outside and the garage is warm. So letting out a bunch of heat and getting the car wet just to show you guys the code is probably not worth it for me right now. So these are some of the codes you'll get when your car starts having issues. So without further ado, we're gonna do a spark plug change in this car. It's super simple. All we're doing is removing an intake pipe and then it will give us access to all the spark plugs. And then from there, it's just replacing all six of them. So here's the engine, pretty standard stuff underneath the hood here. We are going to be removing this plastic piece here, and then this is the pipe that we're gonna need to move out of the way to get at all six spark plugs. Now what's nice about this is you can get at all six up and down. There's not any of them hidden up back behind here. Like a lot of V8 engines and stuff like that in other cars, half the engine's underneath this. And if you're not taking all this apart, then you can't get at it. But like I said, this car right here, we're gonna be removing this, removing this, and then we should be able to reach all the spark plugs. I'm gonna pull them out. I'll show exactly what they look like, show that some of these are probably worn out. They haven't been changed. I don't remember the last time they were changed, so these are pretty old. We're also gonna show the new spark plugs before we put those in. We did get Bosch spark plugs, and then the special socket we've got is a Schwaben part. The back one is a little bit tucked underneath there, a little bit more so than I thought, but there's still plenty of room to get your wrench back in there. There was a piece going across the top that was holding some wires and some vacuum lines. You'll just take that out, there's a couple screws on each side. This is actually really intuitive. If you've done simple repairs on cars like this before, this should be no problem. This is my first time doing spark plugs on this car, and I had all this taken apart to where it is now in about 15 minutes or so. One thing before we move on, you wanna inspect this piece here. It tends to have issues with getting old and cracking. And then the vent hose that goes from here to this connector right here actually broke on us. It's old enough, the car is getting about seven, eight years old. It just gets heat cycled and a lot of this thinner plastic doesn't last very long. So we're actually gonna be replacing that little bit of hose with a rubber one. So I'll show that on camera once that comes back from the store. I have somebody running over there to grab the hose right now. 
But other than that, this is pretty standard stuff. We're gonna get the spark plugs pulled out of the packaging. I wanna show what those look like. And I also wanna show off the Schwaben special socket that we're gonna be using. So here's one of the spark plugs. Like I said, it's Bosch OEM replacement. Nothing fancy, just gonna swap it out directly with a new one. And I'll show what that looks like here. You can see that this actually has 12 points on it, which is different than a lot of spark plugs. And the other thing that you can see here, it is very narrow, very low profile. And that's why we're gonna need that special socket for this piece here. And the channel this goes into to the top of the engine is super narrow as well. That spark plug socket's gotta barely fit inside there and be strong enough to pull this out. So if you modify a 12 point socket, by the time you get the walls of it down small enough to fit in here, you could actually end up breaking it. I've seen people online break their spark plug sockets that they modified. So you can do that, but it really is worth it to just buy a spark plug socket. I'll go grab that real quick and we'll show that off. So here it is, the Schwaben Deep Well Spark Plug Socket, 14 millimeter, 12 point, three eighths inch drive on the side here. And it does have a magnet there on the end. So it will hold on to the spark plug. So you slide this in there and it's not gonna come out. It's pretty crazy they did this, but it's a small price to pay for a high performance motor. So we found one of our culprits for a misfire. We were having a misfire in one and five. Now the coil pack and cylinder one looked to be in good condition, but all the spark plugs are basically gone. So we replaced all those. And if you can see here, there is some markings on the side of this. And then it looks like a battery exploded inside there. There's so much in here that it's actually puffing out the edges of this rubber. So we've got a new one of these on the way. We found one local. So they run about the same price online, but we will have these in the description below. A link to ECS Tuning's website, so you can pick some of these up if you need some. I personally have never had any of these go out in a BMW. This is probably one of my first coil packs I've ever replaced. So it's a little bit surprising, but that's definitely what was happening in cylinder five. We did have another cylinder that was doing some possible misfires, but it was one through three. And if you can see here, one through three can be reached without taking the rest of this off. So we're gonna make sure that four through six is ready to go so that when I put this back together, I'm not having to take it off again later, but that's definitely number five. So all new spark plugs, one new coil pack. We'll get this bad boy put back together and our transmission codes shouldn't be coming back. So we took it for a quick drive. As you can see, nothing else is showing up. It was pretty apparent when we were having problems before. It would throw that engine code, that transmission code, like almost instantly and the car would shake and sputter and wouldn't want to accelerate and the whole engine would sit there and shake and if you turn the car off and then turned it back on it would run smooth and until you put a load on it, it you can't really tell it that's what's going on but once you put about third throttle that's when you start seeing this issue come back again as you can see everything's been cleared off uh, so we went through all the spark plugs and we replaced one coil pack that was bad so if you're having any transmission errors like this start with plugs and coil packs that's the cheapest way to do it if you take it to bmw they're going to charge you a couple hundred bucks if not more just to tell you that something's wrong and they might not start with the coil packs and the spark plugs so do these two items first you're about 15 20 minutes to take the the engine down enough to get at the spark plugs and coil packs and then again you're about another 15 20 minutes putting it back all right everybody thank you so much for watching super easy fix if you have any comments or questions leave them down in the comment section below hit the like if this helped you with your n55 engine just plugs and coil packs that's all you need to check thanks again so much for watching we'll see everybody in the next video